Hey everybody, it's Mike Young with Mike Young Real Estate. And this is like a follow-up to videos I've done starting last autumn, believe it or not, where I was telling people not to buy houses or certain people shouldn't be buying houses. And I'm gonna make a follow-up with that right now. I wanna get straight to the point. And I wanna tell you straight up front right now that if you are thinking of buying a house and you don't need to buy one right now, of course don't, because we're still at the peak of the frothiness of this, of this crazy seller's market. Although it's starting to go down, everyone's noticing that, but still don't buy for like another year unless you've got, unless you know you're gonna lock in for like, I'd say five to 10 years and you've got like a really good job. Because if you don't have either or both of those things, we all know that people move and have to sell. I have a feeling you may end up taking a loss and that's what I'm trying to prevent. Is frothiness an economic term? Yes, it is. <laughs> I Would you like a latte with that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I like the froth. But does that mean it was recently shaken up? <laughs> uh, the froth is a bad thing. It, it, well, it's an indicator that, hey, look, we're way at the top of this thing and it's not sustainable and it's just going to collapse. The froth never lasts. Yeah. So housing prices are going to go down over the next year. So and they are. It, it depends on your market, right? Yeah, I mean, because we're because we're, we're in different markets. We drive around a lot, right? But I service the Raleigh, Triangle, Durham, uh, Wake Forest, Cary, those areas. That market hasn't taken much of a hit yet. With even with the interest rates spiking up, like doubling in like months, it just doubled. Okay, the cost, the, your interest costs have doubled. But in certain markets, it's already taken a nosedive. In certain markets, it was never even as hot as those markets. So every market's different. It's real estate's local, of course. So you gotta kind of look at things the way they are, but I'm still saying in general, I don't think it's a good time to buy a house. <laughs> I know I'm a real estate agent and they, all realtors always say, it's always a good time to buy. No, the only people that have bought houses in the last year, I'd say about year time frame have been the auction winners, which means they paid more than anybody else. Yeah, that's and, probably yeah. what started that whole uh, thing with Wells Fargo firing loan officers because they didn't oh, get yeah. an appraisal. That's right, they were getting exceptions, <laughs> yeah. Because that was a part of the problem is that nobody could, at, at some point here in this ridiculous seller's market, you couldn't even buy a house unless it was full cash and or you weighed the appraisal, which means you couldn't get a mortgage unless there was an appraisal waiver like you're talking about. Yeah. So it's been bad. It's we saw a map recently and it, it showed all of the states and their counties that still have prices that are you know b above twenty percent. Yeah. <laughs> marked overinflated, marked up. Based on yeah, income. Florida, Texas, but it, it didn't happen as much in the north. <laughs> yeah, people are still moving from the Rust Belt to the Sun Belt. So, again, this is local. You're still gonna get. You'll still be okay up north. But the problem is, like, you might be saying, well, hey, Mike, what if I wait? What if the interest rates go higher, which they might, okay? Some people are saying, oh no, the Fed's done. Others are saying another one to 2% higher, but the price is what's going to come down and the prices have already come down. The terms are gonna be better for the buyers. You're not, you're gonna be able to get inspections. You're gonna be able to get repairs done. Things like this that have not ever happened in the last few yeah, years. They weren't negotiable over the past two years. <laughs> yeah, so things are gonna be swinging in, and are swinging in the buyer direction. Just be patient. Uh, like I said, if you got a long, long time horizon and you're certain of it, then who cares? Just go ahead and go in, okay? Uh, no problem. But I want to make sure that I'm giving the correct advice and, and realistic advice because a lot of realtors, if not most, hi realtors, yeah, always say it's a great time to buy a house, which is not true. It, <laughs> <Every day. laughs> uh, always and uh, always and never, right? You're not supposed to use those words. Were, Denise and I were talking about that recently. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not always a great time to buy a house. So now is not a great time to buy a house. It hasn't been since the autumn of 2021. This has been like the absolute peak of the market. So just let it cool down. And I think you'll be happy if you do that, if you don't have to buy a house. That's it. Good advice. All right. Adios.